Hello everyone, the Nordmedic here and in this video let us learn about myopia which is also known as nearsightedness. So it is a very common vision problem of your eye where you can see the objects near you very clearly whereas the objects far away you appear blurry. Now let us understand the optics behind this condition. In a normal eye, the light rays that fall on your eye converge over the retina to form a sharp and clear image. Whereas in case of a myopic eye, the light rays converge even before reaching the retina and form a sharp image there. On the other hand, over the retina, they form a blur image. Now, the conditions that lead to myopia include increased cur curvature of cornea as seen in case of keratoconus, increased refractive index of lens as you can see in case of nuclear cataract, there can be a positional myopia that is anterior placement of lens seen in case of Will Marchesani syndrome or there can be an increased axial length of the eyeball as seen in case of Bupthalmos. Now the signs of myopia include large eyeball, deeper anterior chamber and exophoria whereas symptoms include loss of far vision and that is why it is known as nearsightedness and floaters which occur due to vitreal liquefaction. Another very important aspect of myopia include the fundal signs of myopia. These fundal signs are only seen in case of pathological myopia which is defined as when the myopia power is more than 6 diopters or the axial length of the eyeball is more than 26 mm. In non-pathological myopia, fundal signs are very very rare. Now on the left hand side, I have a normal fundus for you and now on the right hand side, let us see what all myopic fundus findings we can see. To begin with, we can see a temporal myopic crescent which occurs due to chorioretinal atrophy around the optic disc on the temporal side. Along with that, you can get lacquer cracks, which occur due to the cracks in the layers of the eyeball, which occurs due to undue tension on those layers due to growth in size of the eyeball. We already discussed that myopia has large eyeballs and that increase in size to become a large eyeball causes undue tension over the layers which causes this lacquer cracks. Apart from that, you can also see that the optic disc is also tilted. So a tilted optic disc can also be seen. In many other occasions, you can see in a myopic fundus, you get to see foster fuke spots which are due to subretinal hemorrhage at the fundus. Apart from that, you can get to see vitreal hemorrhage or you can get to see a rigmatogenous retinal detachment. The eyeball, as the eyeball keeps on growing in size or becomes very large, the retina tears off and gets detached. Apart from that also, you can have staphylomas. So what are staphylomas? Staphyloma are nothing but bulging out of eyeball from the weak spaces of the eyeball. Now, a detailed video on staphyloma we will make separately, but for now, just remember a posterior staphyloma can give rise to myopic fundus and this is the fundal sign of staphyloma. Now, to understand staphyloma a bit more clearly, let us see a B-mode USG scan of eyeball. On the left hand side, I have a normal B-mode scan of the eyeball where you can see the contour of the eyeball very clearly, I believe. On the right hand side, you can see that the anterior part of the eyeball is okay, seems normal, but on the posterior aspect, there's a bulging out and this is the staphyloma, posterior staphyloma. So with this, we finish off with all the fundal findings of myopia. Now treatment of myopia include optical treatment as well as surgical treatment. Now surgical treatments include radial keratotomy, laser surgeries like PRK and LASIK, or there can be modern surgeries like smile surgery. Now, surgeries of myopia are very detailed and that demands a separate video. So, we will discuss the surgeries of myopia in a deep, different video. Now, optical treatment of myopia can be done by simply putting a concave lens in front of the eye. Let us understand how. Now, in a normal eyeball, the light rays coming from a particular object converge over the retina to form a clear image. But in case of myopia, the image is formed before retina and over the retina you get a blurred image. So we have to get this eyeball back to the normal condition. We can do that by simply putting a lens, a concave lens 
in front of the eye that can mimic the normal condition. So using a concave lens can solve your problem of myopia. Now this concave lens can be in the form of a spectacle or in case of a, a contact lens. But anyhow you can correct that. In next videos we will talk in details about the surgical aspects of myopia as well as other optical problems like hypermetropia, astigmatism and so more. I hope you have understood this video well. If you have enjoyed this video, please go and see the notes and flashcards of the fundal signs of myopia, the causes of myopia on my Facebook and Instagram page. The links will be in the description down below. And also, if you want to get in touch with me, I have my all my social media handles and connection options over here given to and if you want biology related content, you can go and subscribe to the channel Animated Biology with Arpan and his social media handles are also given in the description box below. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.